First and foremost, uh, I would like to thank Iron Range Survival for um, making me aware of this particular topic and issue. Um, I also owe him a very big apology for um, for our uh, comments back and forth. I was I was very much out of line, sir, and um, I hope. I hope that you can find a way to forgive me and uh, be more generous than I have been. Um, the reason why I'm saying, for those of you that don't know, um, what Iron Range Survival is doing, um, he's trying to increase awareness around this whole topic of, of green jobs and how that plays into what I'm talking about right now is... Uh, I was discussing and, and listed a link of a guy who was talking about the uh, China as a as a rising economic power, and Iron Range Survival pointed out to um, pointed out to research the rare earth magnets and and these whole uh, green job pollution issues, and I took it the wrong way because what I was hoping to get out of the, uh, the topic was of a more, I don't know, intellectual type, you know, rising humanistic view, and because he looked at it a different way, I took it the wrong way, and, uh, went ahead and, and let him have it with both barrels, and, you know, he's not, he's certainly not one to back down, and I, and I very much respect him, and I, I thank him for, for sticking with it and giving me a chance to, for my thick-headedness to, to come around, and I appreciate that very much so. And um, what I have done, per your suggestion, sir, is um, I have researched the rare earth pollution and, and how that plays into China and their role in what's, what's to come. Now I'm not sure I'm not sure if y'all are aware of this or not, but there are many many guidelines by the United Nation and the Copenhagen Convention and uh, clean air standards and cap and trade standards that we're looking at that require the use of um, a certain technology that that requires materials that when they're pulled out of the ground cause a great deal of localized pollution. Now up to this point, this has occurred uh, mainly in China at the moment, which um, according to this one source, which I'll have a link down in the description bar, according to this one source, 95% um, currently or thereabouts, I don't know off the top of my head, 95% of the uh, rare earth magnets are, the materials are currently provided for by China. Now they don't have all the reserves in the world, they only have about 50%, but what's interesting is the way that that they have locally handled the uh, the pollution issues, you know, where in, in areas of China where they're extracting these minerals, uh, used to be farmland, and you know, it's no longer there, and the government is subsidized with money, you know, just kind of throwing, throwing throwing money and, and other subsidies at people for the ruination of their land, and they haven't relocated these people yet. Um, how that comes into play is uh, involves part of the role of, of China rising up and keeping up economically will be in their, uh, their ability to hold with this whole green trend that we think is so marvelous. 